to the cloud. All right, Jenkins and GSOC office hours, 2024. Um, today is Thursday, August 22nd. Um, this is gonna be our last GSOC office hour. So this will be a good, uh, very casual discussions or conversations that we'll have. Um, so um, let me see. So yes, last office hours, final presentation, it's already set up. And that is on August 29th. At the same time, log in via Zoom. You all should have a um, panel list invite on your calendar. If you don't, can you let me know, please? It will pretty much be the same format as we uh, as was last time. So 10 minutes per uh, contributors for their presentation and Q&A. Is there any questions, comments there? Okay. Um, slides are also, you guys should also have the slides available. So that is in your possession. And then um, before we go on to the reflection lessons learned, I thought, let me go down here and just go out of order for a little bit. Um, so the we have some deadline that's, that's in place. So for um, GSOC contributors that are doing their, the standard coding period, the final submission deadline is August 26th. So please get your um, submissions in. Um, you can start submitting it now. And specifically for Philip, um, Google was kind enough to uh, make the changes in the portal for me yesterday. So Philip, your deadline is stated under your name here. Okay. Hey, thanks uh, for that. Sure, thank you. Um, any questions on this so far? All right. And then for mentors, deadline for final evaluation begins August 26th, and it ends on September 2nd. So, um, I will not be around at that time, uh, well, September 2nd. So Bruno will be uh, pinging you in case you, um, you know, in case you didn't submit your final sub evaluation. And then uh, final thing is the final blog. And I've given examples on this before. If you don't remember, it's just scroll down in our previous office hour notes. Um, but again, you know, just your reflection, share with people what you've learned, screenshots. If you can stay on the technical side would be good. Um, but I think that's pretty much it. Our mentors are well versed on this. So if you have questions, just reach out to your mentors and even co-mentors. Mm. Any questions there? No? Okay. Um, so for Philip, um, if you could, I think Alex is already aware of this, but for Alex, his final evaluation um, dates are here. I highlighted here. So um, you can either remind him, but I'll also let him know as well. Okay. Yeah, thanks. All right. So, um, okay. So Philip, so um, let's, let's hear what, yeah, what your reflection is of this um, year's program, your lessons learned and your advice for future contributors. Yeah, my reflections is currently based um I working also at the same time. And when I compared it with my normal company, this weekly GSOC is very similar to it. And it's a very good preparation like for normal work in big companies. And also it let me a little bit of feeling of I working in a great team and Jenkins is a great team for me. 
And the lesson that I've learned in the whole time is like, uh, if you had setbacks or problems because uh, you're working on life stuff, um, don't get uh, afraid of it. Just continue to work on it and uh, communicate with your mentors what happened to handle that problem and go straight forward. And the advice to other contributors is like, communicate with everyone in the community also with non-mentors like Tim in my opinion that had uh, reviews on my PRS. Cool and what advice would you have for future contributors? Communication. Um, I, yeah okay. Com communication um write down what you have done organize yourself a little bit like in a project on github for showing the progress and have a little bit the roadmap of yourself what you have already done and where's the blockers for yourself it's a little bit healthy for yourself uh, if you have only once a week communication slot for yourself okay other mentors uh do you have questions for philip No? Okay. Uh, Noor. Okay. Hi, everyone. Hi. Uh, happy to see Bruno again. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, I uh, wanted first to thank all of you, especially my team, for working with me on this. Um, they were always enthusiastic about hearing my updates and providing suggestions for what's next and um, help having a complete solution. Uh, some of them were eager uh, to try things out so we can make sure we didn't miss something incomplete or it doesn't work. Uh, so I wanted to really thank all my team. Um, and actually I enjoyed being here also enjoyed working on a new challenging problem like this. Um, I believe I didn't have uh, to be stressed out about anything. Mentors were very understanding and supportive during my exams and my vacation. vacation. Um, yeah, where I wasn't able to make it for our weekly understand. Um, and now we uh, have our first release, finally. And I'm really excited about this and we'll make sure uh, to work more on the future plans that we didn't have time to work on. Uh, my only advice for future candidates, uh, yeah, is to keep your mentors updated with um, anything to avoid um, miscommunication and and you don't have to stress out about not attending an instance or maybe two as people here are very flexible and they will definitely provide you with the support you need. Uh, so yeah, that's it for me. Great, thanks. And congrats on the project progress. Okay, uh, for, for me, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, now we have uh, our first release. Uh, we also um, have a, a trial uh, to fine tune Lama 3. Um, yeah, it's not finished uh, yet. Uh, I maybe finished it beyond Google Summer of Code, but uh, we had a trial for this. Now we are working on um, the documentation to wrap up. Uh, everything that we were working on, um, the final presentation, and also the blog, the blog post. Uh, so this is what we are going to do next week. Great. Thanks, Noor. Thank you. Uh, Don Yang. Yes. And uh, for me, so... Um, so is, uh, this is my first time to interaction with other program in the real world. <laughs> it's the outside uh, classroom. So I, I, I really 
want to, to take this step earlier because the previously I was always to learning and coding um, by my own, but which it made me difficult to and uh, identify what I'm missing. So in this um, period, I have learned a lot more than I think more than my semester that learning in the school is really helpful. And uh, uh, so what I have learned in this program, and so it's like that. Uh, so it's like, oh, sorry. Um, so the, uh, thank you. And like, in, uh, so in, uh, when we engage, when I engage in the real world projects, it feel like a trap. So I have to jump into it and just get something out of this. So it's like the, uh, I have to make some action to let the other, others know what I have done. Even if it's in, incorrect, but it's, um, it's, um, it's um, but it's never, it's impossible to, for others, uh, for, for me to create a perfect product. Um, uh, from the stars. It's like that if you not get into it, you cannot know what's real needed in this. So um uh, so in my um, experience, so I I can particip participate in the uh because I'm of code and with Jenkins it's really good experience and I have a great team and I also have the um, so, so have you guys to accompany with me to doing that thing. So without you, I cannot do that, doing this. So if I have some other, otherwise that maybe to, um, we need to set in a milestone. And uh, even if, if we have the proposal, but it's different in the real time. So we have to adjust, ad adjustment it and that will make the progress to, make it step by step. Great. Does anybody have questions for Dan Yang? Nope. No? Okay. Uh, Sridhar. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Right? We can hear you. Yeah. So, I just want to thank each and everybody to have this wonderful journey. And I want to thank Valentine and Bruno for, for, for mentoring a lot. And yeah, that's it. So starting from my initial feeling, I was just quite excited as well as a bit nervous in the starting piece of uh, piece of the champions. Because uh, I'm just gonna going to work with uh, some kind of experienced workers in that field. So I'm quite a bit nervous about that. And yeah, as my confidence grows up in the project, some kind of improves. So whenever the project improves and the PR gets merged, and my confidence is just when I grew up. And the lessons that I've learned in this through the journey is all first thing with time management. Since we have a kind of a strict plan, and even though I have not picked with a strict plan, I have done some more time to manage uh, the goals and the things that we need to do within the certain amount of time. So I think I've just uh, improved my time management skills. Also, there are days where I have been uh, extremely frustrated because I was, um, I'm quite stagnant at the same place for halls and halls and even days and days. So even at that time, there are uh, Valentine and as well as Bruno has helped me a lot to recover from the flow state and yeah, they are kind of like a chill and helps me to recover back quite quickly. Also, I'm just kind of multitasking multiple things in a day because I have uh, my college works as well as some of my personal work, including these days of work. So it's kind of quite tough to manage those things. Well, I have just improved my time management to manage all those things. And at last, of course, yeah, programming skills. I just uh, think I have just improved my programming skills a lot uh, when compared to my college courses. And at last, uh, the advice that I just give is there are, there are many uh, times where the pace will be so hard that uh, you will be quite standard in the same place. So don't feel like that uh, kind of depression. So my advice would be you'd have to ask for help for mentors or any community members and just get help from them and, and also communicate with them. It's kind of like our communication is good to have and you can you can communicate with them to resolve your issues. 
And as, at last, I, I have heard some quote from LinkedIn where it just says, uh, it is going to quote this uh, quote once in your life. So you have to have fun and you have to fulfill the thing. That's it. Thank you. Thanks, Shreya. Um, so I guess for, for me, uh, thanks uh, to our, our GSOC contributors and especially thanks to our mentors. Of course, you know, we can't do it without our mentors, right? So they have put in a lot of time and efforts, you know, in addition to their work. So, and they do not get paid. So um, many thanks to our mentors and co-mentors. And, um, but for our GSOC contributors, I think, you know, the work that you do, don't think that, you know, this isn't important. It is important. You know, you're making improvement towards something, whether it's, it be, it, the end product isn't yet there, but um, it's a stepping stone, right? So um, it's not wasted. It's, 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 you know, somebody is benefiting it. And eventually if the product or if the project idea becomes complete at the end, that's great. Many people, many users around the world will be using it. So um, even though I know that the program is ending, but, you know, feel free to stick around. It doesn't mean that, you know, you're not welcome here. We have a, there's a place for you here in the community. So, you know, if you like the project and you want to see it through to completion, just um, come back, come back and work on it. And, and, you know, and the way I see it also is, you know, there's other things in the community that within the project that you feel that can be improved on, that's giving you a problem, find a fix for it. Because who knows, somebody else out there um, is probably having the same problem. Right. So, um, so keep that in mind, you know, like I said, there's a place for you here. We'd love to have you back in any capacity that your time permit, but, um, consider it as kind of like giving back to the community and volunteering your hours, um, to improve the project for the whole. So um, I'll open it up to our other mentors to see what anything else that they'd like to add. No, there must be something different. Uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure Bruno wants to speak now. <laughs> uh, yeah, now that I'm unmuted, yes, of course. Uh, just wanted to point out that Oktoberfest is around the corner. So now that you have your Jenkins muscle built and warm, you can pursue the effort and participate in Oktoberfest, so which will take place next October. Uh, there are lots of simple issues to solve. And now, as you know, Jenkins, that will be quite easy for you. Uh, it's not mandatory, of course, but you're very welcome to participate in the Oktoberfest. Um, what else? I wanted to thank you all for your contributions, really, thank you. Um, partly because um, I have a selfish view of what you've done, you will make my daily work more enjoyable. Uh, some of the projects I will use on a daily basis. So thanks a lot for that. Uh, I think I'm thinking of Shlomo's work, for example, with um, graphs and so on that I will be able to uh, use in my PowerPoint presentations, for example, but also the work from Shridar's regarding the modernization of plugin. I desperately needed that. And I also think of newcomers to the Jenkins project. People wanting to know more about Jenkins. Newer's project, for example, would be really, really useful for people wanting to know more about Jenkins. And when it comes to a plugin developers, um, Philips and Dan Yang's work will be really useful when they want to add CD or are somebody in the team, you know, change the configuration of the project. So all of these five projects are key for the Jenkins community. And from the bottom of my heart, I wanted to thank you for that. I'm really happy with the outcomes uh, for this year. So thank you. I'm done. Thank you. Well said. Thanks, Bruno. Valentin? Okay, sure. How was so, your yeah. experience, given this was your first year yes. as a mentor? 
so correct was the first year as a mentor, but yeah, Jenkins contributor since many years now. Um, I'm very happy. Uh, yeah, that was the first time I really enjoy uh, a lot. Uh, yeah, especially the the Open Rewrite project because it's also something that will make my uh, daily uh, work uh, much more easier as a as a plugin uh, maintainer. And uh, yeah, so all uh, all positive uh, for me. I learn a lot uh, technically, but also on the human uh, aspect. So yeah, I will definitely uh, do it again uh, next uh, next year. Yay! Thank you. Hey, thank thank you. Yeah, we we enjoyed having you as a mentor as well. So um, and for our GSOC contributors, you know, if you feel that you know you can help um, new contributors down the road come back and you know you you're out you're always welcome to join as a co-mentor um you've learned a lot during this program so whatever you learn you can also transfer to our new contributors and help them as well so lots of good stuff um chris uh yep so uh first off i would like to thank um all the mentees in this program for putting in the, the hours um, to come up with uh, some really nice projects, really nice product we can use in the future. And also like, uh, I would like to take the opportunity to thank all my commenters um, in the like in the various projects I have participated in this year, even though like for some of them, I cannot help much because like um, a lot of um, a lot of the mentoring requires some very niche knowledge. Mm -hmm. But um, I really like to um, say that I appreciate all the efforts the mentor has put in as well to make it yeah. like it this is a very enjoyable experience for everyone. Yeah, and, and I think the challenge that we face um, is, you know, like you said, some of our mentors, their their knowledge and experience is so niche that, you know, even though, you know, you want to jump in and try to help out, it's um, it's it's limiting. Yeah, true, true. Yeah. So, so I think that comes to, you know, that we're all learning. Yep. Yeah. Well, everybody is learning here. So, um, so not just our GSOC contributors, but, um, hope everybody had a good experience. Um, it went by very fast for me. There were some new challenges that I felt, um, that, oh, I got this down, but no, I don't. <laughs> uh, every year it's, you know, something new comes up. So um, it, it was, it was good all around. Um, I can't complain. So. Oh, yeah. One more thing. I'd like yeah. to um, thank you, especially Lisa, for the effort you've put in. Because like, I think it's like way too early in the morning right now for you. <laughs> but you just feel like I'm there every single week. But it's. Yeah, uh, my thing is, um, yes, yeah, six o'clock is hard. Six o'clock in the morning is very hard. So, but I have to get up earlier than that, right? Yeah. So um, <laughs> it's hard, but um, my thing is show up, just show up. And I think that's an advice that I give others as well. You no, know, especially I give it to my kids, right? So even when you feel like, oh, I don't want to show up, show up. And that's for everything in life, um, even when it's hard. So, but you guys did all the heavy lifting. You did, everybody did a wonderful job. So thank you for making life easy for me. So um, I appreciate everybody. So with that said, um, we're running out of time. So we shall meet again next Thursday. I will join earlier than usual. Um, so I'll try to join half an hour early. So if anybody wants to join with me and um, test out your audio and visual, um, that would be a great time for it. Okay, so if you did not get an invite or you don't have access to um, the Zoom call-in, um, send me a Slack message. All right, thanks everybody. Thanks, everyone.
Thank Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.